Hello my shinies, my name is SilverNickel47, welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. Okay, I am actually quite excited because we are actually going to do... No, not that one. Uh, this one. <laughs> Whoops, my mistake. Uh, yeah, we are going to do Scorch Summit and we are actually going to fight another boss, boss scenario. And I can't wait to show you. So, I think I don't really need to do anything else but to just jump right in. So, let's just do that right away. Don't want to delay any further. Alright, another encounter. Uh, I'm not sure if we got this one. So, let's just read it. Deep inside a dense forest, you begin to hear the jangling of bells and see a small troop of performers approaching you through the trees. Well, look who it is. The small uh, the small voice belongs to a garishly dressed female quattro with a lute and a feathered hat. Fancy running into you out here? This actually may be a stroke of luck, the soothsayer said. You see, my compatriots and I seem to be a bit lost. We were headed toward the capital when my drummer sent you near a shortcut. Now here, we are in the middle of a forest without an inkling of a clue. I don't suppose you could find it in your heart to escort us back to the main road, could you? Alright, so we, we have two options. Take the time to escort the troop back out of the forest or give detailed directions about the way out and hope that is sufficient. Uh, Alright, so my guess is that if we help her, we're going to get reputation, but we might discard a car or something. So, you know what? I'm just going to be a good Samaritan and just help her out. There we go. I knew it. While escorting the suit singer and her troop out of the forest, you are able to catch up a bit. She is very happy now as a traveling performer playing to sold out concerts across the land. When you reach the main road, you say your goodbyes and then make the long trek back to where you were going. Plus one reputation, but at the start of the scenario we discard two cards each. That is quite bad, but not as bad as starting with a wound or poison or something even worse. Standing before the great, proud Drake, you see nothing to discuss with the monster. If it wants your help, it's certainly for a nefarious purpose. The Drakes you've met previously certainly haven't been very kind. You ready your weapons with determination. So, it's to be that way, is it? The Drake sighs. Well, I suppose I could eat, if you insist. It takes in a deep breath. Whew. Ooh. Oh, we're fighting a big dragon. Excited. Excited. Alright, kill, kill three or fewer. And there is actually one treasure chest, so... Pretty sure we are able to get that chest. But we shall see. Alright, so what I did in the past in the board game version is that I used Night Shroud. And then I used... If I remember correctly, I used Scoundrel and Brute at the time, and I just keep hitting the dragon until it dies. But there is a gimmick that you will see in a short while, and I am going to explain the mechanics of this boss battle. Alright, oh that is so cool. Oh wow, in the board game version, it's, it's it's just literally a cardboard with a drawing of the big dragon. But now we can see it flying with animation, oh it's beautiful. Alright, so let's just pick our cards first. We can take out Black Arrow as usual. And I think we can, as much as I want to remove smoke stuff, I don't think it's a good idea. Grim Sustain. Smoke step is the ideal choice. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just discard smoke step. Let's bring the trap because there's no trap. Right, and then probably smoke bomb. We can remove that for now. We can use it later. Alright, so let's just discard the card. Remove 
song of speed song of speed and probably provoke terror or maybe crippling chorus actually no the, the bottom is too good It's either these two. Alright, you know what? Throw voice can go. Song of speed can also go. Alright, so here we go. Let's read the, the battle mechanics. Alright, all we need to do is just kill the elder Drake. We can we can just choose to ignore these small fries. But in my experience, it is best to just kill them fast before they uh, because they're, they're just annoying and strong actually all right so whenever the elder drake summons zephyrs it flies to the next dark pit hex in clockwise order yes so basically not only that it can shoot and you know just basically uh, damage the party it also going to keep rotating right so from here it's going to move here and then if it does whatever it is that it can do which is the zephyrs or whatever it was whatever it is it is uh it's going to move here and then back here and then here 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 so yeah that is the main gimmick it's annoying but it's not too difficult right so with this i'm going to do that along with this uh she is going to uh is it let me see its immunities Alright, so I think, I believe it is immune to pretty much every single debuffs in the game, right? Uh, I think we can muddle it. Yes, we can muddle it. The, the fact that it is immune to poison and wound is concerning, but it's fine. Okay, so... Ah. Okay, she can actually long con. One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. She can do this, and then she can long con like this. So hitting two of these early, which is amazing. All right. So with her, again, I think I'm going to do this and booming proclamation. So something like this. One, two, three. Here. No. One, two, three, four. Maybe here, or maybe here, I think here, so I can disarm two of these, hit the dragon, and then at least she'll be somewhere close here, so that she can move here, and then she can move here, and then open wound, like this, oh, we don't really actually need open wound, never mind, well, it's fine, she can move here. But these are actually elites, they deal a lot more damage, but the thing is he Night Shroud is going to kill this thing. For sure. So but this one is gonna be a bit annoying. Hmm. Disarm move. Disarm something. Hmm. You know what? it's fine. She has superior healing potion. You know what, uh, let's just see how it goes, it's fine. I'm rambling too much, I apologize. Alright, there, here we go. So the dragon is actually just going to do a melee attack, so effectively, it's wasting its turn on this turn, so this is good. I can actually give the black card to that thing as well. That is excellent. But I guess we can do that later. Alright, so attack with advantage. This one. good. Come on, come on. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. But I actually do want Long Con back. And I think I'm just going to con uh, consume the major stamina potion. Ma no, major mana potion. Alright, consuming minor stamina potion. We are getting back long con. We don't actually have to attack with advantage. Although good, but 
it's not needed. Ah, both of them are just healing. Okay, well that is annoying, but it's fine. Uh, move six. All right, at least I'm. I don't have to worry about them. Uh, I don't have to worry about them attacking the suit singer. Okay. Well, the rending drakes are attacking, but that one is going to die. So, and this one is disarmed. So, that means I'm just going to skip turn now. Hopefully, she can kill this one. Let's see. Curse. Plus two. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Well, I'm not actually going to push this one. I'm just going to skip. Alright. Yeah. This is good. Excellent. Fantastic. I am a bit annoyed that this one is going to heal itself, but it's not the end of the world. Right, I'm just going to go here. Generating. She is going to do that. We're just going to do this. This one thing to reach and move up to her. This one is going to be is gonna get this arm from this one thing dirge so I'm going to focus she is going to focus on damaging this thing right, so let's just do open wound and visage yeah. now there we go oh ho, ho. it's doing a breath attack all right and I don't think we can prevent that so it's fine we're just going to do something like this. I'm going to get the chest later. Skip ability because this thing cannot is immune to poison. Ah. Ah. We can't actually give the black card to, to the dragon. Plus two. Okay. Good enough. here I can't it's out of range anyways so you know what I think I'm just going to bring back mobilizing measure and then I can just use the top card to help scoundrel move around the map more quickly all right so let's just end our turn it's a Drake's turn it's going to flamethrower here attacking two of us all right I 
at least I have the wall shield bringing the attack down, the damage down to just 3 damage and then I can move here Actually, we actually have a lot of damaging options, like for example, Unseen Dread, Angel of Death, uh, Black Arrow, as well as Lurking Ruin Top. We can definitely chip this dragon down until it finally dies. And it is a good idea if everybody can get uh, blessed by the Suzu. Okay, so I'm actually going to do something like this. No, not unseen. I'm going to do an angel of death for now. Grim sustenance and angel of death. Hopefully this thing. Yeah, this thing is not too good. This one can mobilize a measure and this one can dirge. Then we are going to do Blonk Con and Hidden Daggers, yes. Alright, this is perfect. There it is. Summon Zephyr. So you know what? I'm not exactly sure. I kind of forgot what this Zephyr is. I think it's like it's an enemy, untargetable enemy. Like we cannot kill the Zephyrs, but the Zephyrs can kill us or something like that. I forgot. Let's see. With advantage. Yes, there it is. The bless comes. Came out already. Next turn, she's going to do that. Then I'm not exactly sure what to do next turn, but one of these turns I will be using Smoke Bomb. Then I'm going to combo it with either Open Wound or Long Con. I think Long Con makes sense, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to end my turn because she is invisible. going to roll a curse and then basically wasting their turn dealing zero damage basically okay uh, she plays her little tune now i th i believe we need to drink again in order to bring back this already dirge and then she's going to consume this thing later That's it. Yeah, alright. Alright, now I'm going to move here. This thing... I know this thing is disarmed, but... It, it is actually a good idea to just kill it now. What is it doing? It's just summoning, alright. So I'm just going to move here. I'm going to consume dark here. And then I'm going to create darkness again. I'm going to attack nothing. Oh, actually, I can just move here, just for fun. Well, not for fun, it's actually strategy. Now I'm a, a bit closer to the chest. The question is, do I actually want to take the chest next turn or not? Uh, I think I will. Alright, so I'm just going to end my turn. So it has an initiative of 99. Well, no. Well, there it is. Health 1 out of... It has 1 HP. Invulnerable to all damage. Untargetable by all abilities. Although it is cursed. Oh, alright. So it's sharing the curse attack modifier. No, uh, sorry. The monster 
attack modifier deck. So it has two curse. It has, it can fail to attack, basically. Yeah. So all right. So here it is. It has one HP, a movement of two, and attack three. But we're not sure if it, if it can do range attacks or is it just a melee attack. So, but but basically the suit singer is kind of in trouble. So I guess she can choose to go invisible if she wanted. Sure, yet. Okay, so for now, we're just going to do that. She's going to do this. Not sure is going to do that. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, this one is going to oh, summon two more Zephyr. Yikes. Well, no matter. I'm just going to go here anyway. Now, I believe this is the armor, the Drake armor I've been talking about. But let's see if I'm right. Okay, so let's just skip attack again. And there it is. Drake scale. Oh, it's an interesting power for armor, but still. Alright, so I'm just going to do this. You know what, I think she can tank the damage from two of these And then when the drake actually summons two more I believe that's the time when we go invisible And I actually do going to use the top card of this thing Because now she can play two tunes at once, right? Now I don't think this is going to work. One, two, three. Because it's immune to all ability, right? Yeah, see? We cannot actually kill it using Pain's End. Alright, so we're just going to skip. Oh, to skip movement and then shoot. At the dragon. Wow, double bless. Yeah, um, I think we're going to do this. Bring the smoke bomb for the top, then probably force one adjacent normal performance. Alright, uh, doesn't matter. We're going to do, yeah, long con for the initiative. So I can do go very fast and then I do small. Uh, but then she is going to do long rest afterwards. Okay. It's the first time. He is going to long rest because I cannot afford to lose important cards. Like, sure, I can remove Swallow by Fear, right? But I actually need to be able to choose Swallow by Fear because if I do short rest and then it's you know, and then I remove something like Lurking Ruin by accident, then I'll, I'll be in trouble. It's fine, there's too many Zephyrs. The worst case scenario is that Suit Singer goes exhausted again. But it's still fine. Okay, so I'm going to do this. She's probably going to burn a lot of cards if she if she gets hit uh, this turn. Uh, oh well. Uh, let's just see what happens. There we go. Oh, they have an initiative of 99. In that case, I am perfectly safe. Perfect, perfectly safe. And actually, even though Summon Zephyr is annoying, at least the dragon is going to teleport here again. Meaning, it's going to be pretty much. Uh, a pretty
pretty much in trouble from the scoundrel's attack next turn. Alright, this is good. I'm just going to drink. Now, I was thinking of long resting, but I think... I believe she doesn't need... Because we're just going to short rest and then just attack, basically. Okay, so since none of these can be attacked, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Nice tune. Alright, so now... Uh, the Zephyrs move two, right? So one, two. So this is not safe. One, two. Uh, let's see. I think if I if I move here, huh? Suitsinger is probably just going to get attacked once, which I think is still fine. Huh? Right, you know what? I'm just going to take this gold here. I'm going to get attacked once. From this thing, then we're just going to run away. Okay, this is good. Um, Pendant of Dark Packs. Getting that gold stack of potions. Pendant. Huh, I can't need to go invisible this turn, huh? So that I can long rest. Well, let's see. Let's see. Long rest. Then... Uh, removing Swallow by Fear. Yes. Right. Do I need to? I don't think so. I'm not going to curse myself just yet because I don't want to accidentally fall. Oh, good! It's actually attacking Night Shroud for some reason. Haha, <laughs> good! Suit Singer did not get any damage, which is good. Now, here's the scary bit. Alright, you know what? She's not going to long rest after all. Oh, booming proclamation. We draw. Song of Spring. Yep. That's actually the best card to discard. Now she can do something like this. Um, I, I have no choice but to use this orienting dirge for the speed. Now I'm going to do something like so, something like this in order to bring back darkness for Night Shroud. Because basically, what I want to do is just move as far away as, up as possible attack and then probably go invisible or something but for him i think this is the best option um lurking ruin and then grim sustenance so one two three four five going invisible and then attack actually no uh black arrow there's darkness right so i can do yeah smoke step um lurking ruin Smokestack? What? Wait, hold on. Black arrow bottom, invisible, and then attack 3, but out of range, so not yet. I can consume smokestack for the this, basically, so I can do 4 damage. Here's the thing, I, I believe he needs to go invisible. So, probably... He needs to be here. Great. One, two, three, four, five. Grim sustenance. 
So you know what? Fine. I'll just use Grim Sustenance. I still have a cloak of invisibility, so I'm not too afraid. Now for her, she's going to short rest. Yes! Spring the trap! Yes! Perfect! In that case, I can do long con. Attacking with this uh, with advantage. And then I can do paint and moving here in preparation to, to attack it again using open wound. Okay, good. This is perfect. Okay. It's not actually moving. Okay, good. In that case, here, take heavy damage. Move here. Yes. Oh, yes. I can reposition. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, please, don't you dare time zero. Into a bless. Yes. Did you see that? 26 damage. Wow. Oh, that is big PP damage. <laughs> yes, we are definitely going to win now. Uh, she's no longer invisible, isn't she? Well then. Well, that's fine. Uh, wait, hold on. Undo? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, she... Oh, she moves faster than this... The nitro. Oh, this is bad. Well, I think it's fine. Well, in that case, I'm just going to. Going to move. Should I actually block the way? No. I'm just going to move here. I can't disarm anything. Skip ability. Play a little tune first. Attack the dragon. Plus zero stun. Alright, now I'm going to go invisible. Now, you know what? I'm instead of uh, long resting, I'm just going to consume st a stamina potion. Because apparently we are going to win. So, might as well. Uh. Yeah, that's it. That is it. And we can go here. Skipping movement. Confirm. Now that I'm invisible, I can attack. Skip. Attack this thing for 4 damage. I'm going to curse it at the same time. Generating another darkness. Free darkness. This is good. Most of these zephyrs are out of range. Wait, it can actually shoot. Range, oh no. Well, it's fine. She can just burn. The curse will come eventually, so I'm not that afraid. But at least now I know that the zephyrs can do range attacks. Now I'm not I'm not exact I'm not exactly sure why these ones can attack range. Meanwhile, these ones attacking melee. But all I can say is, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, so let's just do a, a big damage for this one. Uh, by doing uh, this one. Black arrow, invisible, consume darkness to attack. Then we're going to do lurking ruin, 5 damage. Initiative of 11, which is good. Disorienting dirge, and then booming proclamation. Meanwhile, for her, Flurry of Blades, Open Wound. Let's go, let's finish this. Actually, no. Open Wound and Hidden Darkness. Yes. Ooh, Flamethrower. Or Breath Attack. 14 Initiative. Ah, they're sharing the same initiative. But according to the rules, the players will go first in, uh, on, the, on the event that 
both players and monsters share the same initiative. Okay, so we're just going to go invisible. I'm still going to shoot with this advantage. Like if I were to roll a bless and and something else, I don't really care. I'm just going to attack it. There it is. Time is zero. It's annoying, but it's fine because now that the the attack modifier of time zero is rolled. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I can just skip the fun and then just go and attack it. Let's see. Bless. Bless one and Good. So now I'm not sure if I am actually invisible or not because this game is buggy. So I'm just going to end my turn. Alright, so I am actually invisible. Because I, I kind of want to help my friends, you know, uh, tank the hits. Alright, so she's just going to I don't really care about the goal because she's probably going to retire eventually. She's going to go invisible. Gonna move here. She can actually get the goal. I kind of forgot about the free movement. Oh well, that's fine. So now she's just going to move all the way here. All the Zephyrs are going to try and attack Sootsinger, but they are out of range. And that's it. Victory. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> With one final blood-curdling screech, the giant drake falls off its perch and crashes to the snowy ground. It appears to still be alive. But its breaths are weak and shallow. Bloodthirsty and obtuse. I don't know why I should have expected more. The Drake whispers. Congratulations on your stunning success. I'm sure you will be heralded as heroes upon your triumphant return. Adorned in crowns of gold and in cloaks of silk, riches will be laden upon you and five thousand. Well, not exactly. The Drake's whispers trail off, and the breathing stops. Wow. Everybody actually cleared their blood. Alright, so let me just say something real quick. Uh, that, that boss mechanics, uh, in theory, is actually a difficult scenario. And if not prepared, uh, the boss is just going to keep on spawning Zephyrs and you know teleporting around and eventually we're going to die getting exhausted or just getting wailed until we die needless to say the drake's sarcastic predictions do not come to pass but thank thankfully because i'm using dps and characters that keep on going invisible and especially you know the night shroud who just keeps keeps on one-shotting uh, monsters like it's nothing the scenario just becomes extremely easy. You report your deeds to the Gloomhaven authorities and receive a modest reward to add to the modest amount of treasure you found on the Scorched Summit. Ooh, prosperity, yeah, I'll take it. All right, 20 gold each. Nice. All right, so let's, let me show you Drake's skill armor. There it is. This is the, the thing I mentioned in the previous episode well two the previous and two episodes ago so yeah as long as you wear this armor you are immune to poison and wound which is amazing but the cloak of invisibility is always better well at least for the glass cannons but for him i would definitely equip him with the armor well depending on the scenario Alright, let's just do another quick city encounter. Yep, let's just agree to help two gold each. Why not? Be another good Samaritan and just remove pests from her house. Alright, so that is the Scorch Summit scenario. Right, not too difficult because, you know, our party is just that much 
that is just so amazing at their jobs and yeah I think that should be a relatively quick video uh, we did it quite fast and yeah so I suppose in the next episode we can do we can just I don't know perhaps all oh right I, I, I believe yeah because of angel of death from the five jump consume darkness to kill an adjacent enemy this dark deep terror is not it's not terrifying anymore so yeah I suppose we can do this scenario in the next episode the shrine of depths all right so yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode I hope you look forward to uh, the shrine of death scenario as well and with that said my name is silver nickel 47 stay shiny my friends I hope you have a great day bye bye see you next time